if you come down to South Padre Island to see a starship launch and you see a sea turtle, it's very important you do not touch that sea turtle. You can actually call this number and I'll tell you why. Green, Atlantic Green. Or Pacific, they're all the same. They just got different names within the same turtle. This is one of nearly 200 turtles that had to be rescued recently from the cold patch of weather that has been down here in South Texas, causing what's called a cold stun reaction for the turtles. Sea turtles are cold blooded, and that means they regulate their body temperature by the water that they're in, which explains why they love it in Texas, because we were in the ocean on Christmas Day here. It's beautiful weather 300 days a year, but the other 65 days can be a little weird. Uh, and weather got a little weird <laughs> about a week ago, and the water temperature fell below 50 degrees. Um, and when that happens, sea turtles are not able to regulate their body temperature anymore and they cold stun. And basically what that means is they are not able to control their body temperature anymore. So they don't really respond to their natural instincts, which is to swim, to lift their head, to breathe. Um, so what happens when that happens is they go in a little bit of a catatonic state. They float to the top of the water. And if they're not pulled out of the water, they'll drown alive and awake. How many days did it take and when, when were you able to make the determination they're ready? We swim tested them yesterday. So most of them came to us Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We, we let them practice swimming yesterday. Uh, and most of them passed and that we were able to get them out today. So cold stun events, luckily, all you got to do is get them out of the elements and the cold water. Their body will do the rest. Their natural instincts kick in. So we just need to get them in a safe, dry and place and let them do their thing. So it usually doesn't take long. Sea Turtle Inc. invited the public to watch this release and we turned out in droves. Okay, so I'm about to see some sea turtles released here into the water. Um, I have never covered the sea turtle aspect of how SpaceX is helping the wildlife down here. So I figured that this would be as good of an opportunity as any. It is raining outside, but it looks like there are a ton of people lined up to do this um, all across the road because there's not much going on before the launch. So let's check it out. Also, how? Freaking cute is this umbrella. County Beach Access 4. And I've been wanting to cover this aspect of what SpaceX does down here because it seems that how SpaceX is or isn't damaging the environment is always a hot topic of discussion, at least in the media. And my understanding is this is not a record. I guess in 2021, you had over 5,000? We, this organization has handled the two largest cold stun events in recorded history. One with 5,557 sea turtles in eight days, and one with 1,200 sea turtles in three days. Wow. Yeah. Oh so, my and Lord. mind you, there's only 21 paid employees of this organization. The other 500 are volunteers. And, and many with SpaceX, which yeah. I bring that up because I'm sure you've seen, you know, the, the headlines and, and media articles about how oh, SpaceX is harming the environment. It seems like it's quite the contrary, at least. Yeah, with just girls. like any other organization, they have employee development and employee engagement activities where their employees can pick what they want to be part of. And the SpaceX family community rallied around sea turtles, mostly because of that huge event we just talked about. Um, and they saved more than 800 sea turtles off of Boca Chica Beach for us. Um, on land, Boca Chica is over an hour in a car away from where we're standing right now. Uh, on water, it's only about eight minutes. Um, so they helped us pull about 800 sea turtles and got them to us um, that would for sure have died had we not. And that really got them. And that's the way it is with most of the community. Once you volunteer at an organization like this and see what it's really all about, they get really rallied and they're ready to be part of it. And so while this operation involved rescuing and reintegrating sea turtles after a cold stun, there are many rehab operations year round. So this is a full-time uh, operation and SpaceX is often helping to patrol the beaches and reporting if they see injured turtles, for example, and trying to help the sea turtles thrive down here as much as possible. Over the years, as SpaceX increases their presence and operations here in South Texas, the environment has been a major concern. There are many people online that fear that SpaceX's operations is permanently damaging the environment. But I wanted to air the story to show you a different side of the equation and the fact that SpaceX has not only increased volunteer turnout to help the turtles, for example, but has also saved many of these turtles and continues to patrol the beaches 
including having training on what to do in these situations. In fact, many of the volunteers for Sea Turtle Inc. actually are SpaceX employees. We have had more nesting turtles on Boca Chica Beach uh, in the last three years than we've ever had. Uh, more babies born on Boca Chica Beach uh, and more rescues have happened on Boca Chica Beach and that's just a consequence of the volunteers that are there. We have more presence there. So we're able to be in front of the sea turtles more often because we have people over there that do walking patrols and UTV patrols. They do nesting patrols for us. So it's really just access. So we're really excited at the difference that's making in the sea turtle population. And Sea Turtle Inc. has actually been around for 49 years. So this is not a new organization by any means, but they say that they're seeing a record number of volunteer turnout and in large part due to the operations of SpaceX down here. Sea Turtle Inc. had their biggest challenge yet in 2021 when they rescued over 5,000 sea turtles. And of course, during those blackouts, the power went out and they desperately needed a generator. And that's when SpaceX stepped in to give them a generator and make sure that they could keep those turtles warm. We had turtles, some yeah. SpaceX people here releasing today because yeah. they patrolled and rescued wow. some. So if you rescue a sea turtle and you're one of our volunteers, you get put into the lottery to get to release one. So oh we had three gosh. SpaceX employees releasing sea turtles here with us today. Wow. So all of our volunteers are such a critical part of what we do uh, that we are, like I said, there's only 19, depending on the year, time of year, 21 paid employees. Everybody else is volunteer with just a spirit of getting it done. So I hope that this story helps shed light on how SpaceX is mitigating environmental concerns. The company says the list of measures it takes just for operations in Texas is over 200 items long, including constant monitoring and sampling of the short and long-term health of local flora and fauna. SpaceX also does a lot of work to pick up litter and beach cleanups around Boca Chica as well. So I'm sure there will still be people that don't like the fact that SpaceX is launching the world's biggest, most powerful rocket from Boca Chica, Texas. But I have to say it was really great to see so many people step in to volunteer to take care of these turtles who, frankly, wouldn't be able to fend for themselves in this position where they essentially get paralyzed and can't breathe. My responsibility is to protect the mission of Sea Turtle Inc. with any employer that does business in the Rio Grande Valley. Um, and we are there. We are that partner. It doesn't matter who you are. If your employees want to be part of the solution and the mission at Sea Turtle Inc., we're going to be there. We're going to train you. We're going to teach you how to do it. And we're going to get you engaged. And new employers that are coming into the Rio Grande Valley, we have seen a big push of a bump in volunteers. We've had 40% more volunteer hours this year than we've had in the historical years. And that's all just because employers are giving kind of diversity of options and SpaceX is not different than that. Thanks so much for watching this video. And as of this recording, let's hope that the launch goes for Thursday, January 16th. It has been such a moving target down here, of course, with New Glenn as well. And I'm really hoping that we get to see that catch.